We're here with Daniel Dawson, light middleweight. Daniel, tell us what's coming up in the pipe for you, man. Uh, i tell you what, it's exciting. I've got a uh, WBO World Title Challenge this Friday night, May 14th, at the uh, Chumash Resort and Casino in San Inez. Uh, this will be on Showtime on Showbox, so man, I, I'm, I'm pumped. I'm looking forward to this. This is awesome. Who's uh, your opponent going to be? Uh, my opponent will be Sergei Zinzaruk. He's uh, a Ukrainian fighter out of Germany, fights out of Germany. Uh, this will be his debut fight here in, in the US and also my debut fight here uh, as I'm from Australia. So this, this is an exciting fight. It'll be good. Both of us trying to prove that you know, we're the new dog in town here. So yeah, it's going to be cool. Now, you have an impressive record, 34-1, and one, yeah. your first world title fight. What's going through your head seeing that the, the bout's coming up Friday? Man, just, just 100% committed to everything I have to do uh, to win this fight. I, I've got the game plan, 100% committed to my game plan, and knowing that I'll do whatever it takes to win this fight and that, that I have everything inside of me to win this fight. I what, feel great with that. What kind of a fighter is your opponent? What is he known for, and what are you looking to go in there and do? He's, uh, he was a good amateur boxer. Uh, his, his style is still a bit like an amateur. It's uh, a lot of straight punches, a lot of sh lot right in front. My style is very, very awkward. It's a good style. I do a lot of movement, a lot of power, punching on different angles. Uh, I can back him up with a jab. I can sit in front and work. I can work off the angles all the time. So my style is going to be offsetting him, getting him offset all the time, not being in front, not being an easy you know, trade for trade fight. He's going to have to work hard to get on my angles. He's going to be hit with punches on different angles. So it's going to be hard for him to set and get ready. How did you end up here in America hooking up with Justin Fortune or anything like that? Well, I actually met uh, Justin in 2006, I think. And uh, he helped me get ready for a fight in Australia. He was back home in Australia, in, in Perth, our town of Perth. And uh, he helped me get ready for an Australian title fight, and I won that fight by knockout, and we did really well. And I and, uh, kept in touch with him since then, and he, you know, he moved on and opened up the gym here. And I've been really wanting to come to America for a long time, really, you know, to get the good... The good exposure, the good fights, uh, train with the great guys here, and, and knowing Justin was here it was a great opportunity to come, and I uh, took the chance when I could. How has he elevated your game since you uh, coming here to his gym? Uh, he's it taught me everything. I mean, being one of the best heavyweights in his time, you know, like he you know, fought Lennox Lewis and was right up the top with some of the best dudes there, uh, and being around, you know, training Manny Pacquiao, Israel Vasquez, like he's he's trained with and trained some of the best fighters in boxing here and uh, the knowledge he's passed on to me is, is the boxing game, the boxing, the footwork the jab, setting up for counters angle off different punches to use like it's not just you know get fit, go hard and, and go in there and go for it it's, it's game plan and, and technique so he's improved me immensely on my game plan and technique how do you see the current crop of Australian fighters? You know, I know Alan Green had a big win, um, people like that. How are you guys uh, doing in that part of the world? Oh, we're definitely coming up. I mean, it's Australia's always, we're like, uh, we feel like we're always trying to prove ourselves to get, you know, with America and, and, and Europe and, and Asia, you know, like, we're a bit further away than everyone else, so we always feel like, you know, we're just as good as everyone else. We want to go and show everyone how good we are. So uh, I feel like we're really coming up now, and uh, I look forward to... Uh, stamping my mark and, and creating a legacy for myself and for my country that people can follow on and, and the next generations keep getting better and better. 154 is a pretty competitive division. There's a lot of people out there. Uh, first person that comes to mind is Alfredo Angulo. Yeah. Who are some of the people in that weight division that you would love to get a crack at? Well, I think, I think uh, winning this title this Friday night, that'll definitely give me the opportunity to fight someone like Angulo, which is a huge fight. And, and my style, you know, I like to get in there and hit hard. I like to move on angle, hit hard, power punch. And he's a power puncher, so that, that, that's an exciting fight, man. That's a fight everyone wants to see. So um, I'm sure fights like that. Uh, Miguel Cotto as well, uh, Yuri Foreman. So there's, there's challenges there. So much, much to look forward to in the future, yeah. Speaking of that fight, who do you like in that fight with uh, Miguel Cotto and Yuri Foreman? Wow, I, I, I've always been a Cotto fan, so I have to go with Cotto, though. I think um, I think it's not going to be an easy fight. I think it'll be a close fight. I think it'll be a really good fight, and uh, whoever goes in with a better game plan and can finish better will win that fight. Who, right now in boxing, do you enjoy yourself as a fan uh, watching? Uh, definitely, I love, I love the energy that Manny Pacquiao brings to the ring. Uh, I love um, I love the skill set that uh, and the confidence that Floyd Mayweather brings. Man, like uh, there's no other fighter like Floyd Mayweather, as in you know confidence and, and skill set. He's amazing. What he can do, not so much what he can say. Not not many people like what he says, but what he can actually do in the ring is amazing. Um, and I, I like the guys around my way. I really like a lot of the old boxers. Sugar Ray Robinson, one of my favorites. Sugar Ray Leonard as well. Uh, and Shane Mosley even uh, even in that last fight, you know, not to get the decision. 
I still think he was one of the best fighters of the era and, and did so much for boxing and a guy that I look up to as well. Yeah. I know you mentioned Manny Pacquiao. You meant it, mentioned Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Who do you think would win that fight? Uh, if, if you put me on the spot, I love Manny Pacquiao and I would want Manny Pacquiao to win, but I would have to put my money on Floyd. Yeah. Just uh, boxing skill alone. Yeah. So what are these fans, these boxing fans, going to expect from you this Friday? Oh, they can expect a lot. Uh, I bring a lot to the table. I can, like I said, my style is very versatile, and, and I'll adapt to the fight uh, as it goes on and work out what I need to do to win and do it. So um, I'm not your typical sort of Australian tough fighter, although I am very tough. <laughs> it's the name The Rock. Um, but I'm not the typical sort of walk in and stay there fighter. I'll get in and work. I'll get in and move. I'll use the jabs. I'll use movement. I'll fakes. You know, a bit of a complete game. So they can expect uh, just a good boxing show and someone that's passionate about what they do and wants to win. Well, Daniel, we thank you for the interview. Hopefully this Friday you'll be 35-1. and one. Get your first title shot, your first WBO uh, light middleweight championship. How do you feel? Man, I feel great. I'm excited. And I know that I know going to this fight, I'm certain I will come out with the win. I'm certain I'll do whatever it takes to get that win, and I'll wear the belt. And I'm looking forward to that. Thank you. Daniel The Rock Dawson, there you go. All right, man. Thank you. Thanks, guys.